beautiful. Oh, 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 oh look at how beautiful. Look, I, oh, oh my gosh, it is a dress clip. Is it marked? It is marked with a patent number, but look, Art Nouveau, check, check glass, beautiful. This is something, this is something. What? This looks like Lorimar. Is it? Okay, you guys, we might have some Lorimar. What? Do we? Is this sterling silver? Okay, there's that little, like, rate. It says, what? It says, Italy 925 and oh my gosh look at these stunning stunning earrings these totally remind me of Eisenberg what is this do we see the layer I don't even know what this looks like but we already see that it's domed and it's layered and let's see if it's gorgeous oh it is so pretty there we go, all the way to diamonds. So we have some diamonds on this watch. We have all these scratches, as you guys can see. And I'm gonna do it in order. I'll do gold. I'll, I'll test the gold later um, because there's different carrots of gold. I'm try to do thin layers. And of course, with the 18 karat gold testing acid, it will show up like a bright blue scratch so you guys might be able to see some of them are showing up that blue see that we're gonna do the next one we're doing this tall tall drink of water right here um so yeah if you're new to my channel welcome this is the third installment of Jewelry Jar Unjarring's back to back that we are doing. So if you haven't watched those other videos, you know, do some laundry, fold some laundry and um, list or, or do some work. And we probably have about three hours of jewelry right now to watch. So we're gonna get into this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller. And if you're not already subscribed, Hit that subscribe button if that interests you. Like this video if you haven't liked it. And we will get right into this beautiful jewelry. Yay! All right, here we are with the last jewelry jar. Again, if you want to make sure that you are listing, or I'm sorry, going through this quickly and effectively, uh, make sure you have your yes bin, your maybe bin, and a craft bin. I have mine right below me. Um, it's very full and I use it to pull um, rhinestones and findings for when I'm repairing things. That's basically what I'm using it for now. The girls also go through it and pretend that they are princesses and Serafina has been making her own jewelry. So that's kind of what we've been doing lately with this big pile of crafting stuff. And then as I'm like going through crafting stuff, I'm, I'm realizing that a lot of it is just kind of like junk and I probably should be throwing a lot of it away. Um, you know what I mean? Like there's no saving it. So why put it in there type of a thing? So yes. All right. This is the last tall, tall one. Um, again, if you haven't seen the other two unjarring, go ahead and <laughs> do so. Oh, 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 look at how beautiful. Look, I, oh. Oh my gosh, it is a dress clip. It isn't marked. It is marked with a patent number, but look, Art Nouveau, check, check glass, beautiful. This is something, this is something. All right, again, I will put up on the screen right now. If you are interested in purchasing anything from this video, make sure to send me an email to the email lilyworksreseller at yahoo.com and uh, give me a timestamp in the name of the episode of the item that you would like, 
five dollars us shipping and if i don't name a price just reach out to me and we can make a deal but i'll try my best to price things that come out of these jars and stuff for you but this one's fantastic this one obviously i'm giving you guys a, a good deal so um usually it's half or even more like percentage off of what i would list it on ebay um but like something like this, I would probably list for like $30 or $40, honestly. Like this is fantastic. This is really, really, I feel like this is a collectible piece. Um, and yeah, so for you guys, I would do 18. That is so pretty. Okay, so more bags. We had bags in the last video. What? This looks like Lorimar is it okay you guys we might have some Lorimar what do we is this sterling silver okay there's that little like rate it says what it says Italy 925 no way do we have a Lorimar and Italy 925 sterling silver necklace in this jewelry jar if you guys know, Larimar is collectible. It is a very sought after stone. That is some tarnish on the back. <gasps> oh, look at that blue. Okay, we're gonna set that over here for um, testing. I am just blown away. Okay. <sighs> wow, look at the, you guys. I am, okay. Like, subscribe, share. <laughs> I'm just going to do that reminder right now. While we're just loving these marquee flower AB glass rhinestone clip-on earrings. On the mark, it is, or on the back, it is marked Vogue. Oh my gosh, how did this vendor, like why, why, okay, if I go there and there's always going to be jewelry jars, I'm always going to grab them. Lori, if you're watching this, Lori works at the antique store and she watches my channel. If you're watching this, give give me a give me a heads up. <laughs> Send me an email if you see them there. They are that this these have been some really great jars. I am so excited for these. And again, I don't know how much Vogue jewelry. Some of it can go for a lot, like from what I researched, and some of it is like. Eh doesn't go for a lot so if I had to put a price on these today I would probably just I would sell them to you guys for again like probably $18 uh, these are these are gorgeous just such statement earrings. these are probably gonna go in my collection upstairs honestly they are really nicely made and I'm gonna have to look them up more those are awesome Wow, that is so good. So good. Okay, we have a, um, oh, this is so sweet. This necklace, oh, it has like a textured back, which I feel like it should say Monet or something on it with this like textured back, maybe like Crown Trifari. It might be like that era, like 50s, 60s. Um, so I would do six for this one. So pretty V. Oh, almost like a V. W. <laughs> w teardrop. Um, I would say 18 inch, and that would be a yes. All right, what is this? Ooh, rhinestone. And it has a spring ring clasp. Vintage. And this one's actually in pretty good condition. Look at that. That one's pretty. Wow. Okay, I would do three for this. Let's sell that one. Okay, we have a, oh, just a simple choker. Okay, are you marked? Japan. Interesting. So it has the hook. And this one's like choker choker. This one, and then these beads back here are glass. But these right here are hand knotted plastic. Like a heavier plastic. I don't think that they're glass. Yeah, I think they're acrylic plastic, but like not not lightweight. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I would do four for these. These are pretty cool, and I will sell those. 
Okay, I'm seeing some more clips, which I love. <gasps> a mushroom! Oh my gosh, an open work mushroom. Okay, I love that. That is so cool. I would do six for him. He is pretty awesome. I love the, the um, those kind. Okay, so this one ha has like a little bit of wear, a little bit of tarnish wear, whatever. Um, and it is a Monet. All right, I would do a dollar for this if anybody wants it. There is some wear to the back and it needs to be like cleaned up or something. It's not Verdigree, but yeah. All right, so we have couple rings. Let's see what else. Oh, we have these clippies. Ooh. Okay. Prong set. These are so fun. So like a black rhinestone and like a yellowish amber tone. So that's what they would look like on the ear. I would do three for these. These are really pretty unique. Like you don't see these colors. They're kind of like, it's kind of like a bug, like a bumblebee or something that's fun okay what is this okay these are glass I'm gonna put these in the maybe um so we have yellow red blue I would do two for these here's another clippy bad tolls I feel like this is something in Sweden there's the Edelweiss, Bad Tolls, I don't know, mountain climbing thing. But this is very lightweight, like um, aluminum or something. Yeah, this is probably a collector's item. I will sell this. Yes. Okay. See this beautiful rose. Just has a little bit that needs to be cleaned up. But that is really a pretty pink rose. Are you marked... No, I would do four for this one. That one's so feminine with the gold and the pink. Okay, we have a flat chain, a little bit of texture. This is probably 18 inches, no mark. Uh, I'll put this in the maybe. We'll do that for three. Ooh, this is the abalone shell watch. Okay, what does it say? It says Lana Dew Quartz. And yeah, needs a battery. I would do four for this one. That's really pretty. You would just need a battery. But look at all this abalone. That is so pretty. Roman numerals. Lovely. Okay. Oh, is this an ear cuff? <gasps> is this what is this? Okay, brass. Pretty sure this is brass. I think this is an ear cuff, right? I don't know. Do we have another one? I, I don't, I'm not sure what this is. I'm just going to put it, <laughs> I'm going to put it with the earrings. Okay. Oh, here's an Edelweiss. Oh, does this go with the, with this? Do these go together? Maybe. Because they're like made out of the same material. Hmm. All right. I see more clip-ons, more earrings. I like doing the earrings kind of all at once. So, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Carved celluloid. Oh, this is very lightweight. Carved celluloid. Flowers. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. I would do 12 for this one. This one is so pretty. Fold over clasp. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. So earrings, earrings. Let's see. There's an earring. What is this? Hmm. What are you? Looks like a piece of fabric or something in there. Pendant. No idea if anybody wants it. A dollar. Okay. Look at these. I think I said in the last video that I'm going to have a ton of clear rhinestone dangle earrings. And oh my gosh. Look at these stunning. Stunning earrings. These totally remind me of Eisenberg. 
Eisenberg Ice. Wow. Incredible. Yes. All right. We have another rings. We have some more rings, more rings, more rings. Ring, ring. Oh, scarf clip. Oh, and it's a rose. Is it marked Liba or something else? Oh, here we go. This one is Elizabeth Moray. Oh, I haven't had Elizabeth Moray um, scarf clip. I've had a lot of her jewelry though. So yay. That one is a yes. And if anybody wants it, four for that one. Oh, this one's really sweet. Okay, it's an orc. No, uh, iris. Little tiny seed pearls. This one seems like a little older piece. Very delicate. I would do six for this one. This one's so pretty. I love that. Yes. Okay. Um, we have some like heart pendant things going on here. Okay. Let's get into some of these earrings. I have some matches here. <clears throat> All right, totally looks like Lisner, right? And yeah, it is Lisner clip on earrings. I would do three I see Lisner chokers and bracelets that are totally in this style, this like matte textured leaf. And I see these. Is it a wreath? Yes. Like a little holly and a wreath. Oh, it goes this way. Little clippies. Oh, those are so darling. Those are so cute. I would do five for these. Look at how sweet these are. Okay, yes. All right, we have these little studs, textured ribbed studs. I don't know. They're kind of like Napier quality. But yeah, I'm going to put them in the maybe if anybody wants them. $2. All right, we have this and this. Ooh, screw backs. Okay, we'll do three for those. Anything else? Yes. Is this wood? Oh, it's wood. Wood studs. Maybe like 1960s or 1970s. Do two for those if anybody wants those. All right, we have a cross white plastic and it's an Avon Aw, yeah definitely selling that one I really like selling Avon and I've been selling some like Avon bundles um, so it's a cream cross and it's about a 20 to 22 inch necklace so yeah I would do six for that one. Oh, what are we pulling out Oh my gosh, Bicone Crystal. It has that like lightweight West Germany aluminum filling um, box clasp, but this is long actually. Let's see, where did my measuring tape go? So it is about 23 inches. So this is like a 23 inch. Let's just see if it's rock crystal real quick. If it is rock crystal instead of just glass, it will be in the quartz amethyst citrine on the presidium tester. Let's see. It is just glass, which is fine. Still really pretty. I don't think these are AB coated. They're just the clear, sparkly, beautiful, beautiful. I would do a 10 for that one. Okay, we have a butterfly. Um, it's an older C clasp. I would do two for him. We have some romantic studs. Let's see. Are you marked? No, I don't know. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Two dollars if anybody wants these like scrolling studs. See that? pretty. Okay. Ooh, look at all this art glass. Fun. Yeah, this is a long one as well. Probably 26, I'm guessing. Let's see. It doesn't have a clasp, so 
oh no longer 30 34 like 34 inches <clears throat> so yeah no clasp so you'd have to just put it over your head all this different art glass I would do three for that one pretty okay what does this say it says raw cliff pewter pecking 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 I don't know oh that's a dog with a heart okay if anybody has a pecking dog they might want this for three dollars okay so it's a heart this is kind of like a, a scatter pin set where it's attached with a little chain. Yes. Okay. Oh, a little Christmas rhinestone. Oh, the green rhinestones are just so elegant. I love the emerald green color. $3. This is gorgeous. Love that. Okay. Looks like this is broken. this one out it has the hook right there and then it has this ball tassel let's see if it's marked it is not um, yeah it's missing one flower right there in the middle so yeah this is going into craft more rings over here and we have these earrings. Oh, these are so cute. They're little cameos. Blue cameo clip-on ladies. $4 if anyone wants. These are so sweet. Yes. Okay, let's dump some more. Oh. What is that? Okay, let's just keep going. I was like, is that a belt buckle? Okay. There we go. Okay, everything is out. And I'm going to pull some earrings if I see them out. What is this? What is this? Is this... Oh a clasp is it that is a very ornate clasp you guys <laughs> look at this wow it's missing one like rondelle the little rhinestone on top but that is too pretty these are plastic they're like hand knotted plastic but look <laughs> at how pretty wow Wow, that is so pretty. Okay, if anybody wants this, I will do five as is, but I'm definitely listing that. That is a that is a piece. Oh, bezel set. We have a bezel set necklace, I think. Let's get it out. What does it say? Oh, Frederick. Oh, we have seen that before you guys. Okay, so we have bezel set crystals, and then it says Frederick right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to research this more, but I'm definitely selling this. If it was just bezel set crystals, I still would sell it, but it does have a name, so that is fun. Okay, we have a ring. We have an earring, 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 earring. And then another earring. What is this? Oh, an earring. Okay. And a brooch. Oh, ah, that's nice. I would do two for this one. Rhinestones are good. Everything's in good shape. Um, here's an earring. Oh, what is this? <gasps> do we see the layer? I don't even know what this looks like, but we already see that it's domed and it's layered. And let's see if it's gorgeous. Oh, ho, 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 it is so pretty. Okay, if anybody wants this, 18. <laughs> this is stunning. This is a stunning one. And look at the height. Yes. Wow. 
That is so pretty. Okay, that one is a definite yes. Okay. Oh, I think we have like a set thing going on. A Demi Perur. And this says Japan. So it's a double strand Japan. These are all plastic. Some of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I think mm, these might be glass because they are like dipped with that like fire, fire dipped check oil slick glass thing. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. And then they have the matching clip-on earrings. Yes, I would do 20 for the set. This is fantastic. I love that so much. Okay. Oh, another crystal necklace. Oh, and this one's long again. This one is AB coated. Okay, so this one's very long. All right, again, the fish hook. You want to check the sides to see if it says sterling or anything. This one doesn't. This one is very long. This one is, let's see. This one is 17, so 34 inches. Wow. Yeah, I would do 12. That one's pretty. Okay, we have some faux pearl. They're very lightweight. Um, a dollar if anybody wants that. All right, should we should we see these leaves? Wow! Oh no, feathers. Very elegant. Very very elegant. So it's a brooch and clip-on earring set. So sometimes they will mark one of the pieces but not the other. So I'm gonna check the brooch to see that is marked in this Demi Perur set, which means two pieces in the set. And a Perur is like the three pieces. So no, but I'm still going to sell this. Um, if you guys want it, I will do 10. Yeah, this is really pretty. Okay. And then we have, oh, another set. That is so sparkly. So clip-on earrings and the brooch. Okay, another 10 if anybody wants these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right, we have earrings, earrings, stick pin. That's weird. <laughs> so the stick pin says CS. This one would be harder to sell, I believe, because it's initials, CS. But then in the maybe... Um, any more earrings. Here. Here. Okay. Let's start going through the earrings now. Aw, this is like a little ornament. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the flower that came off? Okay. It looks like we might have the flower. So that means we can sell it. Yay! That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna sell that now. <laughs> if anybody wants it, $8. That's pretty. All right, and then the ornament. I'll do two for this one. Right, let's take a peek at the earrings. So we have these. Very like 1980s, in my opinion, romantic. They're by the brand Two Sisters. They do a lot of vintage jewelry. I would do five for these. Very romantic. Yes. All right, we have these clippies. They are hoops, not marked. I'm sorry. They are, they are um, <laughs> football prong set, ellipse, um, marquee, navette. I don't know. I'm saying all the shapes. <laughs> oh, those are really pretty. Okay. Do we have the match to this one? Yes, we do. All right, so these are like interesting door knockers. They have a baguette rhinestone and they're elongated. Oh, they are marked. What are they marked? What are they marked? Coro with a T? Is that what I'm seeing? Or what am I seeing? T. T A R. Toro, Tari, something. 
Okay, these are something. I'm going to research that. That is a definite yes. Okay, next. More um, AB Crystal clip-on earrings. And then, oh, look at these black earrings. Okay, these are so pretty. Oh, these are so lovely. Look at these. Look at these. They are so feminine. Victorian Revival. Um, yeah, these are, these are like French jet black glass. I would do 10 on those. Just All right, my battery died, but I was talking about these screwbacks. They are like 1940s-ish prong set screwbacks, and they have like this atomic looking back, which is pretty cool. I don't see that too often. I'll sell those. We have these dangle clips, rhinestones, very sparkling like prong set again. Uh, little tassels. Cute. And, ooh, we have gold stone. Again, gold stone does not have any gold in it. It is just glass and I believe copper flex. So gold stone a lot of times is paired with like gold filled jewelry um, or gold plated. So that might be what this is, but I will definitely sell these, if anybody is interested, I will do $8. Okay. Oh, we have these. Okay, these, this, okay, these are older. You can tell by this little hook. Um, and this might be like a turquoise thing, and I'm going to test them for sterling. They're not marked, but I highly suspect that these are some sweet little possibly Native American sterling earrings. I'm going to put that right next to the Laramar. Can you guys believe we have potential Laramar here, which is so, so awesome. All right, so while the battery was charging, what, what was I doing? Oh, this. Okay. So I was like, oh, another wind-up um, watch. And so I'm like looking at it, and it has a W on the side. It says Waltham. And it says stainless steel. And so I decided, I'm like, okay, I'll just look, I'll look that up, see what that is. And there was a lot of watches that said diamond. So I was like, oh, does this one have diamonds? Um, so I decided I'm going to test these stones all right here. It looks very Art Deco wind-up watch. They're kind of small. So I'm going to try to not slip and make a noise. Oh, there we go. Just slipped. But there we go. All the way to diamonds. So we have some diamonds on this watch. So that is really exciting. The back says stainless steel. So I'm I'm fully confused by that because we have like several diamonds on this side, several diamonds on this side. Um, it does twist and it does tick, but I don't know if it keeps time. So if anybody really wants this, make me an offer, you know, I don't really sell watches that often and I don't know, it does say stainless steel, it doesn't say like platinum or anything, I don't know if I open it up, if it says something different, the, the chain band or whatever itself says um, Speedel stainless steel, but really pretty nonetheless, so that is a yes for me. Um, this one says, what does it say? Ronica or something? Thailand Movement Quartz. Pretty. Um, this one might need a battery. Yeah, fold over clasp. It has like a ribbon woven through it. Let's see. Yeah, I believe it needs a battery. So like two probably for that one. We have a textured leaf. Mm, two. And look at this. This one looks like a graduated jade bead barrel clasp necklace. Let's test. Let's test to see if this is graduated jade. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's see. All right. So we are in the 
Tanzanite Aqua. Uh, it also could be Chrysophrase Emerald Nephrite. Maybe it's Nephrite Jade. Yeah, that's probably what it is, right? Nephrite Jade, because some sometimes um, jade looking things are Nephrite Jade. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Barrel Clasp, Graduated. Let's see how long this one is. I keep dropping my ruler on the floor. Okay, this is about 26 inches long. Very cold. Lovely. So that one is a definite yes. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We have a hematite. We have a hematite pendant from the last one. What does this say? Does that say sterling? Does it say 925? Yes, it does. So I'm wondering where did the other one go from the last I feel like it's in here somewhere. So this is my maybe thing. Okay, here we go. Do these go together? They kind of look like they should, right? It has all the hearts, but this one has sterling. Ah, okay. Well, maybe if someone really wants them, um, I'll do these for like eight together. That is a super great deal. So let me know if you want these heart um, hematite things together. Okay. Um, we have a letter C brooch, I believe. Two dollars. Earring. Earring. And we have a tie tack Avon. Yes, I will sell this one. It's a tie tack or lapel pin enamel. Do three for that one. Okay. We have a chain. That is all kind of tangled in here. Let's get that out. This is a very delicate chain. I feel like it is gold over sterling or gold or something. Like it feels very delicate. Okay, so it looks like a D. I'm going to check the spring ring to see if that is marked. And it is. It does say... 12k gold filled so again it is gold filled and then there's a little d with a tiny little rhinestone um let's see let's see if it is a diamond d for diamond okay that is a diamond <laughs> Should I, should I probably test the D, see if it's gold? Maybe I will do that later. That is pretty cool. Okay, we have this snowflake. Oh, wow. This one totally looks like bow jewels with the Fleur de Lis and the prong set red rhinestones. I really feel like this is like a bow jewels brooch or something like that. So pretty. Yeah, I would do seven for this one. This one's really, really pretty. Sell that one. All right, we have some more brooches. I would do um, $2 each for these like rhinestone. Um, maybe I should just bundle them together for you guys. <laughs> Here's another. Um, this one is missing a rhinestone right there. I'm going to put that in my rhinestone harvest. Is there any, any more? Here's another earring. Okay, so we have these for, I could do 10. Nope, this one, this one needs to be harvested as well. It was a snowflake and it's missing one. Okay, so we'll do these three for I don't know, six, five, three for five. There we go. Three for five. That's what we're doing. All right. We have, ooh, purple and clear tennis bracelet. That's really sweet. Do four for this one. Look at how beautiful. That is lovely. Um, yes. 
Okay, we have a filigree looking butterfly. We do three for that one. Glass. Um, and it is a wire wrap. Look at this fun glass. Glass and plastic. Very nice colors of blue. I would do three. I probably would sell that. That's nice. Okay, this one also looks like jade or nephrite jade. I've sold this style before several times. Let's do a test real quick over here. Yeah, it's the nephrite jade again. Um, I would do five for this. Very pretty. And then, what is this? Okay, we have a toggle clasp, and these are all plastic. I do one for that. Heart brooch. I do three. That's really pretty. Really bright, sparkly. Okay. Oh, this is pretty as well. Okay, no maker. It's just a simple, like circle. On a smooth chain. I'll do two for that one. And then, oh, we have a match. Do we? Yes. Oh, look at these are studs. Look at these. Very sparkly. I would do four for these. These are these are fantastic. Yes. Okay, we have another one of these like flower things that I thought in the first jar like was drugs <laughs> for drugs or something. Um, but it's for um, holding a boutonniere flower set. Oh, another art glass um, hat pin. I think we put that in there. I think we had a green one last time. Okay, another watch in this one. Oh, a J. Jill. I would do 10 for this one. This one probably needs one as well. But J. Jill is nice higher quality. And it is fashionable today. Very Brighton look to this toggle. Nice. Oh, so sell that. We have some heart pendanty things going on here. Okay. Another one. We have this flower bouquet and this one is marked. DM 1997. Huh, I would do a dollar for that one. It's like a little rough right there. And then I don't know what to do. Pendants. Probably. That one's probably gold filled. I could test that one. Probably like a dollar each for those, whatever. Another pendant. I'll test that one. And then. This. Is like a long bobbly long 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 necklace it needs to be cleaned that's for sure I would do two on this metal balls not sterling pretty though okay ooh another tennis bracelet this one is sparkly and beautiful and feels like a size six and a half it's a little bit smaller that one I would do three Okay, we have this Lucite bead thing. Guys, people really love their clear Lucite. Honestly, vintage clear Lucite is like totally collectible. There's a spring ring clasp. These are just fun. That one is a definite yes. If someone wants this, I will do five. All right, we have this which I think is more modern. It's light, well, it's a spring ring, but I don't know. I'm gonna put that in craft. It's kind of lightweight. All right, we have some shamrock studs. Are you marked? They're not. Okay, I don't think they're sterling, but if anybody wants them, two. Okay, this says Millie. Okay. And then we have these. I could test for sterling. All right. I have these earrings. Ooh, they're kind of like twisty textured. I'll test those. I have a watch. Oh, there's little enamel flower things. Okay, what is this? It's kind of dirty. 
it looks like it might have had like a, a a cover at one point so what does it say it says Josmar Josmar Jewels is this also a windy I think so interesting it says base metal Swiss made cute okay we have this cameo this plastic we do two on that one this I'm probably just gonna put in craft it's a little more worn than I would like oh we have this <laughs> this is Swiss made um criterion and then on the back it says 1982 original edition soup Campbell soup company interesting this one is going to be a maybe I don't know let's see oh is this also a wind up let me listen I don't know Swiss okay well um I don't know I don't know how much this goes for I might sell this I'll put it up on the screen if I'm <laughs> gonna sell this this looks like gold and a pearl pendant okay and let's see this one says France is that what it says France and we have a bunch of like half hoopies and these might also be like pearl. Yeah, these are genuine pearl. Okay, let's get into the rings. This looks like it's made from a utensil. Let's see, it says silver plate. So it's silver plated. I will do two if anybody's interested. This one is like a peridot color, a green. And this one says Avon. This one's a big one. This one is, let's see. This one is about a nine. Mm, nine and a half. Nine and a half. So yeah, Avon, cute. I would do five. Um, Mother of Pearl band, like a cigar band. Two different colors. So a blue mother of pearl and a cream mother of pearl. And this one might be silver. I'll test that. Okay, let's open these, shall we? Um, okay, so we have a teardrop necklace. And I'm checking the spring ring clasp to see. Yeah, it's a sterling on it. Okay. And does it say anything? Oh, it says sterling on this as well. <laughs> okay. This is so, this is such a good jar again. All right, let's see. So it looks like it's just glass in sterling. All right, we'll test that as well. So we'll do the sterling testing when this is all done. And then we have this bangle, which is kind of rough. I'll do two for this. It might be like sterling plated. It has a bunch of rhinestones bangle. Um, and then we have, this is glass. Okay. So we have a necklace with like all this, these little glass beads and then earrings to match. Okay. I would do Four for this set. Again, if you're interested in anything, make sure you're emailing me with the timestamp and a brief description of the item, and I can PayPal invoice you. Okay, rings basically nothing. Who is ready to test some sterling? Yay! Alright, we have these pieces that we're going to be testing. Let's do 
this one. I will scratch the bale. Again, as always, I use my 18 karat gold testing solution um, right here. I have most things that I use for my business linked in the description of my video. So you guys can just hop on Amazon, purchase it. I do get a tiny bit of like kickback commission, whatever, for whatever you guys buy using my links. Honestly, it's like literally whatever you guys buy. So like if you buy books using the link, I get a tiny portion of that. That's one small way to support the channel. All right. And then we have the Larimar piece. Okay. And then um, this one is scratching more of like a copper. So that's kind of telling me that it is not sterling. So I'm putting these in order of what I've scratched. One is more of a coppery color. I'm going to do this right in the middle. I just have this last one. Okay, and I will put that right there. Okay, so we have all these scratches, as you guys can see, and I'm going to do it in order. This one is probably gold. I'll tr I'll test the gold later um, because there's different carrots of gold. I do thin layers and of course with the 18 karat gold testing acid it will show up like a bright blue scratch so you guys might be able to see some of them are showing up that blue see that so we have number one yes no 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 and then we have yes, yes, and no. So these are all testing as sterling silver. Yay, that is awesome. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to, let's see. I will sell this for $30 if someone wants it. That is a lovely piece of sterling and Larimar. Um, so yeah. Okay. That was a lot of jewelry to go through. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully you guys were listing and taking pictures and sorting your jewelry right along with me. If you have any questions, again, go ahead and join our Facebook group page. It is private link down below. Um, and again, if you haven't liked this video, I'm going to say it every time, go ahead and hit that like button, share this video with people, um, to get this channel growing and, um, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys.